headers contain some kind of extra useful information which we can send to the server so it knows how to treat our requests better. So one thing our browsers send is the user agent, which is basically a string or a text containing which browser we are using, which version, which operating system, so on and so forth. It also sends, for example, what kind of content it, it, it is going to accept in the response. So this is basically saying we're, we're accepting any type of content. So that's what these two asterisks say. And then we can send cookies if we have any cookies. So cookies are a way of storing temporary information on our local computers. So this could contain, for example, when we log into our website, this, can, this could contain information about our user so that the server knows that we are logged in. Okay, and the same thing for post requests. And then in the response, the headers also send back some useful information so that our browser knows how to treat this response a little bit better. So for example, it can say what kind of server just managed your request. So for example, this could be Nginx. Okay. And then the content type. So what content type is the, is the server returning to us? So this is going to be text forward slash HTML whenever it, it responds back with HTML. It could be other things, but we're not going to dive into too much detail right, right now. And it could, for example, also set cookies. So it could send cookies back to us with the set cookie header. And this set cookie could save temporary information on our, on our local computer. So one case where cookies are used a lot is when we log into a website. Okay. So when we log into a website, the server sends back cookies containing the session ID, okay, or, or our user ID, which basically says that we are logged in. And if we send then another request to the server and we send our user ID in the cookie, then the server will know that we are in fact logged in. And we already went through the body. The body is usually HTML, which the which our browser grabs and renders a graphical representation of this HTML. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually do some live live demonstrations on of this. So throughout this course, you'll see that I'll be using Chrome as my default as my browser of preference. Okay, you can use any one any browser you want. I'm going to stick with Chrome just because it's my it's my personal preference. So the following steps I'm going to do are pretty similar in any browser, but if you get kind of lost, then, then maybe it would help if you use Google Chrome. But like I said, you can use whichever browser you want. Okay. So to see how requests really work and, and see what's actually happening behind the scenes when we send a request and when we receive a response, we can go ahead and right click on the inspect element. And I'll just drag this up a little bit. And you see, this is all the HTML that's rendering this page here. If we go to the network tab, here we can monitor the request and the response being sent out to our server, to any kind of server. So let's say wikipedia.org and see what we get here. Let's scroll to the very top. And this is the response that we received from the server. Okay, so from Wikipedia server. So here we can see that the remote address, so this is Wikipedia's uh, IP address is this here and we can see the port 80 by default okay and if i open this up a little bit further then you see we have request headers so this is what we send wikipedia in our headers so this is all of the content that we're going to accept so text html being the primary one then some kind of other stuff here connection keep alive cookie so we already have a cookie and it's apparently ge geolocating me. So I'm in Spain, Barcelona. And also the user agent. So I'm running Macintosh, Intel, Mac, blah, blah, blah. So and Chrome version 40. This is all being sent to Wikipedia in our headers. And then what we receive in the response headers, we see the content type is text H HTML. And we see the date, we see what server is handling our request. So it's a, a Apache server. And then some, some other parameters, you know, we don't really need to worry about. And then the body of the response contains all of this HTML. So when we receive this HTML, what our browser does is it goes ahead and, and interprets all of this HTML 
and then prints out a graphical representation of that HTML. So this is why we're seeing here, you know, pictures and, and, and text nicely formatted in links and inputs and all that instead of, you know, some, some HTML. So this is the all of the HTML that we received in the response. And then our browser went ahead and, and interpreted this HTML and rendered the graphical representation of that HTML. And in this course, we will also be actually developing our HTML. So we, we, we obviously, when we're, when we're developing web applications, we need to say how our website is going to look like. And to do that, we need to develop our own HTML.